Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to put on a motorcycle tire. This works for any dirt bikes. Make sure you got good tire irons. These ones I think these are some old MSR ones. This is a Bike Master. This is also a Motion Pro here. Usually you're going to need a 12 millimeter for the rim lock and the valve stem nut. On your rim, you want to make sure everything's clean in here. Normally sometimes we'll just have a band that rides inside here. Make sure the spokes aren't poking through. As long as you keep them covered and they're not not going to pinch anything. I actually did spray this down and clean this already, but that's just how dirty it is. Grab some baby powder. You can use any brand baby powder you want, but you're just going to want to sprinkle it inside here. This will help that tube from sticking inside here. You want the tube to be able to move a little bit. That way you're not, not pinching anything at first. Normally I'll just run it around like this and I'll take some and I'll actually throw some on the, the tube itself here. There's multiple ways to do this. Just want to start by putting this tube inside this tire. Line up that hole with the valve stem, push it through. I don't know if I can get this nut on yet, I might have to push it through a little more. Now nah, it's coming. There we go. Alright, so see how we got that nice? You're, you know, you're not putting the tube, trying to force the tube into that tight little spot when the tire is already on and then you end up with like a your valve stems all coming out all crooked like I said normally the guys will use paste like a tire paste some guys like WD-40 uh, soapy water works fine that's all this is uh, it's not actually fully filled with awesome just a little bit of soap and a water that's all you really want you just want to make it a little bit slick don't be afraid of getting it slick It's a little tough to do with one one person sometimes. You definitely want to make sure like if you're if something doesn't feel like it's going right, sometimes you gotta check to see if your tire might already be trying to seat itself, which is something that you don't want to have happen. You don't want your tire to be seating too early or you're not going to be able to get a big enough bite to put this on. Which I might possibly be running into right now. Okay, so one side is now on. I have to come over to here. See, it wants to peel this up. And sometimes this can be trouble. But you want to make sure this tire is all the way out over the rim. Make sure that tire, that rim lock, can move freely back and forth and push it up. Make sure the tire seats down in, in between the rim and the tire, just like that. We could, just in case. All right, so let's lube it up. Like I said, there's multiple ways you can do it. You can do that, that little portion without, without any lube. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> I 
All right, so now we have it inside there. Just start working our way. Let's make sure we're not seated already. See how that popped in? The tire was already trying to seat, which we'd run out of rubber. Makes it extremely difficult to get the last bite on. Brought that one back up because I'm going to try to get this under. Sometimes when it's like there's not enough room to squeeze it. All right, so we should be good. One, two, boom. That's it. That's all she wrote. Let's fill her up with air. See if she holds. Uh, sometimes you want to lube that up both sides before you hit it with air. That way it can seat properly. But we'll see. Make sure she looks all right. Truck on here. There we are. Probably want to check your wheel bearings and grease them or replace them while you're doing this. Just tighten this down and back it off. Some people, some bikes have uh, little rubber holes. Never, I never leave them tight anymore. Possibly cause your valve stem to pull out. So I leave it a little bit loose. Sometimes I'll wind the nut back out to the cap. So definitely make sure you got the right amount of air pressure when you install a new tire. This rim lock, I do tighten down. And I don't, I don't try to... Don't try to strip the nut, but snug, definitely snug it down. Make sure it's tight. You definitely don't want to have dirt and all over your brake pads. Definitely use a clean rag. All right, guys, that's it. Both wheels are done. New tires. Ready to go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys got any questions, just, just comment down below. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button. Get notifications when I upload new videos. Let me know down uh, down below what you guys like to see in the future. If there's anything you guys want tips on or riding videos, moto vlogs, feel free. All right, guys. Have a good one. Thanks.